comics. Now this kind of plays into comics and comic collecting as well, but one thing that kind of Brian and I are curious about, it's something that we discuss regularly, uh, is, is kind of comic burnout. It, it can happen uh, at almost seemingly out of nowhere, where you're kind of uh, uh, doing a lot, whether it's content or uh, collecting or you're in the middle of con season and you just kind of, you, you get a little burnt out on it and it, it can be the comic collecting side or comics in general, the genre or the YouTube side. And I'm curious, does it, is it something that occurs with you guys and how do you deal with it? Oh man, uh I'll get this out of the way because if there's anybody who burns out any faster on YouTube uh, or any brighter than Discovery Bay, I don't, I don't know somebody. Um, but yeah, I I get burnt down on both ends of it. Um, I think for me, what really draws me into the community and the comic book collecting at the same time is the same thing and that's story and if these stories resonate with me enough that i want to make a video about them or um I, I see i don't do a whole lot of speculation talk on my own channel or even on the comic or it's all pretty much story based so it's like i was down on comics for a while where i was just like not reading anything I, that really resonated with me it's like there were a few handful full of titles at marvel that i was still getting that inspiration that spark from when I would read them every week um, a few indies here and there that I just would really grab me but like Hoxpox the House of X Powers of 10 Jonathan Hickman X-Men stuff just like piqued my interest so much it was so well paced in the way that those stories were kind of doled out that every week I was like oh man here we go I gotta crack this book open I gotta get as much information out of it as possible I got to make a video. I got to read my comments for three days afterwards being like, who wants to talk to me about this? You know, and then, then go on a live show on the weekend and be like, Hey, who didn't hear me talk about X-Men all week long? Cause I'll talk about it again. And it's when those books come out, those stories that really grab my imagination, they really reinvigorate me. Um, and, and it's, it's really cyclical. It's gotten to a point now where it's like, Right now, there are very few books that when they come out, I'm like, oh, I got to read this in the parking lot before I leave the LCS, you know, but occasionally those books do come up right now for me, it's Power Rangers Ninja Turtles. Like that book, when it comes out, I'm like, oh man, it's not, oh, it's going to be a nice fun run. Batman. So I'll sit down for 10 minutes in, in the LCS parking lot and read it before I go home. Uh, those those are the things that really that really get me going. But like as far as burnout, yeah, we all experience burnout. It's all all cyclical, um, and sometimes you, you get inspired and you go hard, and that's both in in the reading and the collecting and in the making videos. And sometimes you just might rather sleep in and you know watch something on Netflix and kind of veg out for a little while. And like, oh, I read a story. Was it good? Yeah, it's pretty good, but I don't need to make a video about it. You know, um, and, and those are just kind of the cycles that that I feel like I go through in all of my hobbies. Maybe how about you, my man? Well, you know, um, if if you watch the channel at all, you got to know that uh, I have a lot of fun and I I want to have fun with it. I I'll be honest with you, I did burn out and I've taken some extended little periods of time. I was going at it real hard. You know, I was. I want to. I was proving a point to some people in the family, my wife, uh, that I could uh, get to a thousand subscribers, and I did. I mean, it was quick. I got it there in like seven months, and and then I, you know, you looked at watch time, and it wasn't there. And then someone said, "Look at your analytics." I'll tell you what: don't look at your analytics, guys. Don't, <laughs> don't do it. Just don't. I mean, just have fun. Just have fun. Because if you start taking it too serious, then you're going to be disappointed by something. You'll put out a video that doesn't get a click-through rate, and you're going to get disappointed, discouraged, and, and then the whole thing starts to spiral on itself. I don't do that anymore. It's just have fun and take the time that you need right now. I'm, I'm not Basically, I'm not allowed on YouTube in front of the camera on a Saturday or a Sunday, except for the last Saturday of the month, I give it to the comic book community, and I host an event, which I'll talk about at the end. 
but that's good for balance guys to to just get away from it and, and let make sure everyone knows and that's i have that hey I'm off on Saturdays and Sundays. I got a family. I'm just not going to do it. I may be in the chat and I'll say I'm hiding out in the garage because I love it. I love the community. Sometimes I just can't keep myself away. You know, I want to be in the chat, but burnout's real. And sometimes I don't get to read my books and I feel that YouTube prevents me from reading, which is why I do this was to read the books. So Every once in a while, I'll look and just say, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do a show Friday through Monday or take four, five, six days straight. And people will be reaching out to you. Hey, are you okay? You okay? And I'm like, yeah, I just need to read some books. I just need to reset. You need to re mm -hmm. reset. The cool thing about YouTube, anybody that's doing it, it's going to be here when you get back. It's going to be here when you get back and you will be welcomed back with open arms, you know? For me, I've got Patreon supporters. So I was like, oh, I can't be taking a bunch of time off. There's people that are kind of dependent on me to put out content. And did it. No, dude, every single one of them was like, no, take the time. Your Patreon supporters are your supporters because they care about you and your channel. I you support know? you they on Patreon, you JB, and I say take your time. <laughs> right? Take, the t take your time. So when, when, you're, when your supporters, your subscribers are telling you, do take the time, do what you got to do for the family, it helps make the whole thing better and you don't get burned out as often um but you do get burned out and what you do you just take that time youtube's gonna be here man it'll be here when you get back i might not be a patreon supporter but i do throw a random super chat in here or there and Absolutely. i just want to tell you that um chop chop get these videos out bro like we, <laughs> i don't want you taking your time awesome Drew. give me that content <laughs> a little bell <laughs> chop chop good oh. stuff yeah, I've suffered burnout from both comics and YouTube. And it also, a lot of it relates to the same thing JB was talking about where uh, family comes. Uh, you work full time, you got a family, um, you're do, doing videos. I mean, Jack and I, what we record Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, every week, um, yep. every other Monday now. For a while there, I was recording also every Sunday for weekly picks. Um, so not only are you filming those, but you also have to find time to edit stuff up. Mm -hmm. Editing takes a Not lot. Not for JB. Not anymore. I gave up <laughs> editing. Unless you're doing live streams, which <laughs> is a great alternative. But um, so you, like everyone else was talking, you ride some highs and then you come down and you crash for a little bit. And the always find time to, like you said, give yourself a shot in the arm, rejuvenate yourself. Sometimes just stepping back for a minute, um, reading some books. But one thing that helps me, especially with YouTube, is I go watch other YouTube channels that aren't even comic related. I'll go watch like Peter McKinnon does awesome YouTube channel on photography and video and, and uh, t some tech YouTube channels. And it's just, you're not watching so much from the tech point of view. It's just something that gets you motivated to be a creator again and go out and start making videos. And then you pick up on stuff that they did that you're like, Hey, maybe I can incorporate that into comic video somehow. And that's kind of how, Jack and I always try to not, I won't say stagnant is not the right word, but always try to continue to be more creative and talk about comics, talk about reading comics. Jack is more on the um, selling side of it than I am. I'll fully admit that. So we have a good yin and yang and it comes and goes. I'll tell you the biggest, the hardest part when want to talk about burnout. I don't know if it's burnout or what, but we took that Christmas break yeah and it took us i'd say almost through january to like get back into that groove we were kind of doing some videos yep. and it was just hard it was almost like i was like <laughs> kind of hope jack doesn't show up <laughs> 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 kind of looking for an excuse not to film but um i enjoy it and like you said and everyone said the best part about all of it especially with youtube is the community you meet some great people i wish that i could give more of my time to a lot of people that ask for it because I always feel so bad when like, hey, can you come on? Or hey, do you want to collab and do a video on this? Me, I, I want to do it 100% of the time. The schedule sometimes gets in the way with, yeah. I have the same time where, you know, my wife doesn't really say anything about it, but it's always in the back of your conscience oh, yeah. going, hey, if I want to stay married, I got to. She don't have to say anything to you to give you that look, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I got to make sure I divide up some family time. And like uh, JB was saying, usually the Saturday, Sunday, no videos. That's part of the reason why weekly picks went away. One, a lot of people are doing weekly picks. So I felt like it wasn't taking anything away from the community, 
but two, it was a weekend film that I was making that was kind of blurring that line of getting in the way of family time. So I kind of pulled it back. And I think you get burnt out for a lot of different reasons. Like Brian, you and I have had, you and I talk about this a lot. Um, and I think the point of this question and discussion is, you know, we, I know that we get a lot of people who are up and coming YouTubers, prospective YouTubers, and they ask us a lot of questions about, um, you know, what it's like to run a channel. And obviously like there's bigger channels than us. Um, there's smaller channels than us, but, but, we feel pretty secure in, in our growth and size. And, and I, I think I want to impress on people that said, like, you go through it, it happens and it doesn't last forever and different things can pull you out of it. Right. So for me, I don't really get burnt out from YouTube. I really enjoy this, but I have the easy job because I come on the mic and, and just talk my shit. Um, I just have to show up and be very opinionated and um, stir up the controversy. That's my job, right? So all I got to do is come on the mic and be me. And I recognize within our duo of me and Brian, um, the editing that he does takes a toll because every piece of content, I could do five more pieces of content a week. Um, Brian could not possibly, I could burn him out. And sometimes I've, Brian's so great. If I ask to do something, he always says yes. Um, but the thing is, he will then, I notice, will start to get burnt out and his passion won't be there. And Brian is way better and, and way more fun to be working with when he's excited. So I've had to learn and through our partnership that there's like a balance and to not push too hard and to do, let things happen and progress naturally um where i get burnt out sometimes on hobby just in general right because like we we all are so passionate about it um whether or not it's dealing with all of the things we have to deal with in the youtube comic community whether it's hate in the chat or hate in the in the comments or um just some debate or disagreement or you know like i said i'm very opinionated of, of going on in the market uh that's, or just things you see that you don't always agree with that are just inherent with social media, no matter what you're doing. Um, sometimes I'll get kind of turned off to it, but what helps me is, and I know we're all kind of like do this a little bit. I know J JB, I see you've got like Funko's back there and Drew, I know you're an action figure collector. So kind of taking time to like put myself into some of my other collectible passions um i will take a couple days and really not focus on comics and i will focus on sports cards or action figure collecting or um you know you know those are really my main other two but uh sne sneakers used to be my thing but i've gotten beyond that pogs <laughs> pogs oh i was a pog master back in the day Next con, you guys bring bring all your pogs. I'll bring an empty tube and a slammer, and I'll and go. And a slammer, yeah, the metal pockets, slammer. My pockets full of your pogs, Jack. I think you hit the nail on the head when you you said that Brian is better when he's excited about something. Yeah, and and that's the whole thing with burnout is that comics are fun, and YouTube is fun, right? Pudding is fun. Putting five days a week, that's great. Putting seven days a week, that's even better pudding all, every day of the month. I don't want any pudding anymore. Well, we got tapioca. Ooh, that's exciting. Let me get into that. That's kind of like every time I feel like I'm burnt down to a certain point, something else happens in either the YouTube community or in comics that gets me excited again. Yep. That, 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 yeah, it, it comes out of nowhere, right? right. It, it, that come lows are so great because she's like a, a low in, in comic collecting and YouTube is like, nah, I don't want to do anything. Mm. Right. That's like, but then the moment you get that inspiration, I mean, I started doing these these little videos on the comic horror, just snippets of our live shows kind of cut into like a little, hey, here's what this show is basically about. And it was super easy. It was super fun. It made me laugh my ass off. And I got so excited. I made like four of them in a row. It's uh, Now I'm kind of like waiting for us to do more shows so I have more content to kind of <laughs> pick from. Well, and that's also where, like Brian said, like the weekly picks, right? So like he mentioned he got kind of burnt out doing that for not because he was necessarily like tired of doing a video, but Brian and I, something that we're, we like to pride ourselves in being creative, the most epically burnt out we ever got 
was when we were doing that terrible CBSI Hot 10 video that we wanted no part in really doing and we were trying to force ourselves to do because we thought it was good for the channel. And ultimately, it was just making us miserable. And we had the good sense a few weeks in mostly thanks to Brian, to be like, you know what, no mas, we're done with this, we're going to move on. And instead, we're going to create our own thing with the last call show, which instantly gave us that like, oh man, I'm pumped up to do this now, this is exciting. Um, and so you got to kind of like do that from time to time. We found like making subtle changes to the channel will do that because it's really easy to be motivated. We've been fortunate um, with some channel growth recently. So like it's really easy to be motivated when you're seeing that growth. We went through a couple lean months where things didn't move at all. And when that happens, you have to really push because that's when you find yourself getting frustrated because you're throwing things up against a wall. And right. it's, it's just not that algorithm doesn't make sense to any of us. None of us know how the hell it works. So we're, you're just kind of throwing things up against a wall, hoping, hoping it pans out. And when you go through those lean months where you're just not seeing the growth you want, but you feel like you're putting so much effort in. That's when it's easy to get burnt out and you've really got to watch yourself take a step back and, and do some, find some sort of method that works for you to reset. And, and for us, it's new content. New content has done that for us.